Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. I am uh, currently out in the Badlands of Alberta doing some time lapse and uh, just thought I'd check in during this uh, time of coronavirus or the Chinese virus if you like that. I don't know, it depends on what side of the, the fence you're on right now politically but um, anyway we're all dealing with that and uh, I haven't been out of the house for like 10 days now uh, just because my work is uh, sort of been closed for a while and so my wife has given me the day off and I have come out into the middle of nowhere and um, which is where I kind of like to be actually on my own by myself still quarantined and uh, doing some photography so that's what I'm doing and um, I'm just actually doing a time lapse of some uh, abandoned old cars I, I don't know how the clouds are going to be today whether it's going to work um, might have to introduce some contrast and post to make it happen but we'll see what's going so I'll um, I'll just get uh, I'll give you a sense of what I'm doing right now Okay, so uh, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking a time lapse of uh, the the valley with these two, specifically these two abandoned cars in the foreground. I picked the cars just because they uh, had a bit more color, uh, a little less, less rust. And given the landscape is very brown right now and uh, still uh, still frozen, still dead, I want to have that. Sort of I'm shooting at three second intervals, all in May. have a aperture of 6.7 focused on the car. Uh, the aperture of 6.7 is because I, um, I'm mostly concerned that the cars are uh, fully in focus. I'm not so concerned about the back of the valley or the far part of the valley and uh, having an aperture of 6.7 just it helps with sensor dust on uh, when doing time lapses. That's one of the most challenging things to deal with so uh, that's why I like to keep it at 6.7. Uh, or, you know, an, uh, uh, a larger aperture anyway, just uh, to help with sensor, sensor spot, sensor dust, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, and so the other thing to mention is I am doing this as part of my, um, uh, the current project. Well, it's taken a, forever to finish, actually, uh, so I'm still trying to get it done, is the uh, abandoned sort of Alberta uh, project that I'm working on. Uh, hopefully, plan to wrap that up this summer. I uh, get a few more spots that I want to hit. I definitely want to hit a, a legitimate ghost town. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that uh, yet, uh, just because things are so crazy with coronavirus right now. You know, you know, my, dad, my company... Uh, we've been sent home now for um, a full week, and so this coming Monday will be, uh, as I film this anyway, will be the second week uh, we're at work from home uh, orders, and uh, I just don't know where things are going to go. Like uh, I work in oil and gas, and uh, the price of oil is not great right now, and so um, I have a job now, but don't know where it's going to go, and so. I'm just going to run my camera for about 15 minutes at 3 second intervals that will give me a usable clip so I have enough space to look at and see which parts I like. Uh, particularly if I look the best or if I've you know, got any movement or something like that, I'll have enough to, uh, to fit into a uh, larger project. So that's, uh, that's what I'm aiming at anyway. Alright, I'm going to get back and see, uh, see how things look. I did want to see just as far as composition goes. Um, I'll try to put the car behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, uh, I'll show you a shot anyway. I just um, I have the composition framed so that the back of the trunk, or sorry, the trunk of the car, the boot of the car, wherever you're from, is at the uh, left edge of the image, and so that the car is driving into the frame. I just felt that was a, a better composition. I like to have the the 
the sort of the object that I'm shooting, uh, sort of driving into or opening into the frame rather than than not. Okay, I uh, finished up my time lapse and uh, I just walked around a bit to take a few extra shots. Not too much time though. Uh, I might come back here um, another time and just do uh, stills photography, but I think there's a couple other spots that I might want to get to today while I'm out here. And so I'm gonna try to stick to the uh, stick to the program and uh, stay doing the same same sort of thing. So. Uh, and that means time lapse right now. So I'm gonna try to find another place to shoot. Don't know where that is. Um, maybe Atlas Coal Mine. Um, so if that works out, I'll uh, next time I uh, check in will be uh, at Atlas. If not, uh, then this video is done, and uh, I'll probably just stop and film a, a little uh, outro at the end. But uh, okay, I'm really hoping that there's gonna be some more uh, opportunities out here. Um, before the clouds kind of uh, disappear. So uh, I'm going to get going. Alright, I checked out uh, Atlas Coal Mine and it just didn't look that great, so I'm on my way home. Uh, thanks for checking in on this video. Hope you guys are all safe and sound wherever you are. And uh, yeah, all the best and to you and your loved ones. And uh, we'll uh, just sign off with a few of the photos I took on this trip. Alright, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.